What is going on, guys? My name is Toby Emo. I've not done a pay-per-view prediction in forever, and I'm joined alongside somebody that hasn't even made a video in a long time. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, not as fan. You've been making some videos. That's a heck of a cheap shot, bro. Hey, that's I I I was in the same place. I wasn't making videos either. You look at my channel. Uh, I think in the March, like from two months from February to March, I think I made like seven videos. I can't. I don't want to throw too much shade. Uh, unlike the Great Balls of Fire logo, which throws shade over everything because of how big the shit. You know, I'm not even gonna say that, not as. Um, the shaft. The sh okay, come on. They're, they're they're big great balls of fire. The logo. I don't know what they were thinking about. The news broke that uh, the reason. Do you know why we have this pay per view name, Nottis? The official reason that they were given from not, WWE. Not. Vince McMahon thought it was funny, and that's why we have it, according to all the reports. That's it. He laughed at the name, and he decided it's going to be an annual thing. So <laughs> the, I'm, I'm fine with the name. I hate that that it's now tied to. The damn fifties song or whatever, and so I, I just I just don't like the overall feel of this pay per view. I actually don't mind the name Great Balls of Fire. I think that you could be very intriguing. It, I want to see a custom stage though. I think you got to have a custom stage that fits this theme. But other than that, I'm okay with the name Great Balls of Fire. Uh, the card itself, I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, SmackDown and Raw have been a little bit hard to watch uh, for me personally. Uh, when it comes to some of these builds, and it's not necessarily just to a, a dig on anybody, because the card is actually really good. Let me run over the card really fast. Uh, we have Neville versus Tozawa, Brock Lesnar versus Samoa Joe, Roman versus Strowman, uh, Roman Strowman, Alexa Bliss versus Sasha Banks, Rollins, Wyatt, Enzo, Big Cast, The Miz versus Dean Ambrose, Cesaro and Sheamus versus The Hardys, and so that's a pretty stacked card. Once you say not, it's like that's a pretty good. I mean, that's, I don't want to like throw out things. That's kind of like a SummerSlam card. That's a big name card. It doesn't seem like there's it looks any. It's good on paper. It really does. Yeah, on paper, it looks like a really good card. Um, as far as predictions go, we're going to kind of go through these matches. Um, I, 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 I think this is the one prediction. That's actually a lot of matches. This is this a four hour pay per view? No, it's a normal three hour. I mean, there, there's only eight matches. Seven of them, one of them on the pre show. So there's only seven matches. Yeah, it's, but one of them is a half hour Iron Man. Yeah, so but if you look at all the other matches, Enzo and Big Cass doesn't have to go very long at all. Uh, Rollins, Wyatt, That's true. yeah, I, I don't think these matches are necessarily going to be. I think maybe Brock Lesnar and Samoa Joe will be shorter, but uh, let's dive into it. Let's start with the uh, pre-show. You have the uh, the Titus brand, Akira Tozawa. Uh, maybe uh, hopefully Akira Tozawa has better luck uh, with the Titus brand than uh, your man Apollo Cruz. Apollo got flung around the ring by, by Braun Strowman with a kick. They, it reminded no, me of uh, crazy. it reminded me of uh, Dikembe Mutombo with a block. No, no, no. I, I could just imagine Braun getting up like that. Um, who do you got? Neville versus Akira Tozawa. I don't know. I think I'm going with the King. You're going with King Neville. All right. So I'm going with King Neville. I would say, you know, I'm going to go out. You don't left. think Neville's going to carry that till SummerSlam? No, 100%. I think that my gut is telling me that Neville's going to win. So, But my actual prediction, just because I really don't care about being right or wrong on uh, predictions, I'm going to you know go a little uh, – I'm going to go uh, contrarian here. I'm going to say Tezawa gets the victory uh, to get under the skin of Apollo Crews. Like, uh, Titus is leading in Apollo Crews into all these bad matches. Meanwhile, the guy that, that he just signed, Tezawa, wins a title. Um I don't know why. I think we're pretty sure Neville's going to win. There's no reason for Neville. I mean, if you beat Austin Aries enough to more Austin Aries decides he's leaving the WWE, says maybe it's time for a career I'm sorry, who, who was that? Uh, he was a former TNA wrestler that showed up and was an announcer here in WWE and has now gotten released. So, Oh, that's yeah. funny. I don't see him on WWE's uh, main page here. Well, that's because he got released. They don't usually have superstars on the page if they got released today. Um, <laughs> I didn't say he got released, huh? That, that's strange. Yeah, he got released. So apparently, if you lose to Neville, uh, your career's going downhill. So I think we can say goodbye to uh, Akira Tozawa after this match. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and say Akira Tozawa picks up the uh, the victory. I'm just going to go. I mean, people could tell me I'm wrong. Back back to the Aries thing, though. So do you think that's on Austin Aries wanting out, or they wanted him gone? I think, personally, I, I think he might have wanted out. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I don't know if they can pull a storyline into it. Um, but if you look at his lifestyle, his book, his promoting all his other stuff, um, I actually really liked him as an announcer. And then you, you have him thrown on 205 Live just for the weight thing, the weight class. And I, I think he's bigger than 205 Live. You know, this is the thing. I don't want to crap too much on WWE because everybody's throwing speculation, whether it's him, whether it's because he's injury prone or all this other stuff. I have to be honest with you. My gut just says that if I'm Austin Aries and the way I've been booked, I, I kind of want out. 
Um, you look at, uh, and you have Dixie Carter coming on the WWE Network next week. Just think about that. Austin Aries today is out, and they also announced Dixie Carter, uh, who we wouldn't have had any of these guys like Samoa Joe or Austin Aries even in the WWE if it wasn't for her mismanagement. So maybe she's an undercover WWE employee. Um, That's pretty I, wild. It's pretty wild, right? Um, but the whole Aries situation, I'll talk about it later, but I think straight up, I think he was on 205 Live. He deserved more than 205 Live, and that's where I'm going to leave it because um, it was Aries, right? And just to get put in 205 Live, and I know a lot of people are like, well, you have to let 205 find its foot, its footing. Uh, I think it was one of the former wrestlers that mentioned it's kind of like uh, ECW, though. This doesn't feel like 205 Live. It's just another show. They just put people on there. There's really nothing. I haven't watched 205 Live in probably three months. Like, I'll yeah, watch maybe, maybe a match if it's good, like the uh, Jack Gallagher match. The uh, I can't think of the other one. It was the bait match. I don't know who it was on 205 Live that I actually watched. Uh, so for the most part, it doesn't really matter for the pre-show. Uh, then let's actually just, let's just go in order here. Uh, Cesaro, uh, Sheamus, Versus the Hardy Boys. Now, uh, obviously, the big thing is whether the Hardy Boys will ever go the broken route with Matt Hardy. Uh, sources are saying they're getting close to the broken uh, trademark or coming to a deal with uh, Impact or Anthem or GFW or whatever the hell they're calling themselves nowadays. Uh, and Samus and Cesaro found research. So is that something if uh, they, they do go that route, that's going to have a big build to it then? Well, I think he's been teasing it more and more with the broken thing. And then I think if you lose the titles, maybe he turns on his brother. I don't know. I still think, and this is the thing that I think the hardcore fans know what the broken universe is because it was pretty innovative. But there's something in me that all these fans keep saying they want the broken universe. But if I'm WWE... Why am I switching to a gimmick that I mean, unless you know the brilliance of Matt Hardy will be on showcase, right? That they can he can win over all the two point five other million fans that watch WWE. I just look at it as I would personally as WWE rather have the Hardy Boys. I mean, that's a name you yeah. can go back from the Attitude Era, and then it, it, like broken the Broken Universe was great if you watched Impact Wrestling, but only two hundred fifty to three hundred thousand people watched it weekly. So it's not like all these WWE fans know what it is. Unless you're like a really passionate fan like that goes to the crowd, buys the tickets, and you're cheering, delete, delete, delete. I don't think the hardcore fan base knows who he is uh, with that gimmick. But I think Matt Hardy is such a dynamic performer that he'll get that gimmick over if they ever do bring it over. Um, but to get it there, I think they have to lose. I don't, I don't see why they – I don't think the Hardy Boys need the title. Uh, they held the title for like exactly the same amount of time as they did the last time they held the titles. And I think Sheamus and Cesaro are going to get a victory here. Not just who do you think is going to win? I completely agree with that. I think it'll be Sam, uh, Sheamus and Cesaro. 30 minutes. What do you think the uh, count's going to be? It's an Iron Man match. How many pins? How many? Uh, I'm going to say 5 4. I was going to go 4 3. 4 3. Yeah, I'm going to go a little higher because I know that's a lot of pins for an Iron Man match, but I'm going to say 5 4. All right. Uh, Miz versus Dean Ambrose with his new posse that he has Bo Dallas and uh, Curtis Axel. Uh, which I actually like the fact that they're actually doing something. They were in the Marine 5 together, and then it's just giving Bo, because Bo by himself and Curtis Axel just aren't doing anything, so I'm perfectly fine with the yeah. fact that them... I was going to say, it's nice to see Axel on TV again. From the hometown, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Uh, what? Uh, <laughs> I was seeing a bunch of yeah, tweets. Every time I get see him in person, he loses, because you know, he's going to lose in his hometown. Uh, Bo Dallas looks goes. like Bo Dallas looks like what Johnny Depp would wear if Jack, Spor if Jack Sparrow's character went to the Oscars. <laughs> <laughs> With the bandana, <laughs> the beard, everything else. Oh my god, that's pretty funny. Um, who do you got in this match? Dean Ambrose or The Miz? I, mean, I, I think Miz wins. I'm gonna say Miz wins too. Uh, really, I don't. There's. I'm still waiting for Dean Ambrose to ignite something for me personally. That's just. I. I don't. I'm just. I haven't really been digging Dean Ambrose for a while now. Our buddy Jim, aka uh, Junk Gaming Videos, has, has has got me. Um, you know, hooked on on Miz being the being the guy that should be the IC title. I mean, it's. He's good with it. Yeah, I definitely like him. Uh, okay, uh, Enzo versus Big Cass. Now, obviously, the storyline into this one, Enzo Amore and Big Cass were getting beat up backstage. I said from day one that it was Big Cass doing it. Uh, Big Cass pretended to beat himself up, laid on the ground, and eventually turned on him and would say, you know, I've always been in your shadow. They've been together, what, four or five years now? And now Enzo's big mouth cost him, and Big Cass can see himself bigger and better, which I absolutely agree with. 
And here's the thing that scares me, though, is if Big Cass uh, ragdolls Enzo Amore, I hope he doesn't go to 205 Live. That's my only worry here. I think oh, I think Enzo would make 205 Live a must-see, though. I well, think, yeah, I suppose. But that's the one thing that worries me, because I think Enzo fills time. It's one of the things that Enzo and Big Cass did is fill time with their mics, uh, skills. So to break them up, I'm perfectly fine with, because I think Big Cass has got a bigger future. Um, but for Well, the mo- so do you think that this is their opportunity then to pair Enzo with somebody else? Possibly. I would love to see an Enzo Big Show, because... You know, some of the best tag teams and things we have, like as much as we hate on guys like Big Show and Kane, some of our favorite tag teams of all time involve Kane and Big Show. So you add uh, Show Miz, sure. uh, Jericho. So you add uh, Big Show and Miz and then Big Show and Jericho, which were phenomenal. You add Kane and Brian. You had Big Show and Kane. I could actually see Enzo with Big Show. I think that would be pretty sweet. I don't know if they'll do that, but my big worry is that they do, in fact, put him on 205 Live. Um, who do you got in this? I'm going to say Big Cass obviously picks up the, the win here. Cass. All right, Big Cass. All right, uh, then we have Seth Rollins versus Bray Wyatt, a match that for me really has no hype, and I want to quote uh, – I'm going to go over to Bleacher Report here because uh, they. Uh, I was looking at their predictions and uh, trying to get a feel for this, what people are saying. And they actually have the, the hype level of an F is the worst built feud. <laughs> That's what they're giving it. Little build, little fan investment. And I got to be honest with you, I love Bray Wyatt, but he just he's he's been saying the same stuff for two years. I'm lost in Bray Wyatt. I love Bray Wyatt as a guy, as a superstar, as a person, as a wrestler. I don't just like him coming out always doing his thing. I don't know. I, I've kind of ran sick of of Bray Wyatt's character constantly saying the same thing. I don't know if you feel the same way or, or if you feel anything about Bray Wyatt. If he has a sh- chance to do something. I just feel like his gimmick to me is kind of run dry, uh, especially with the whole. Yeah, I'd feel that way too. I mean, like every- and it's really sad that any Seth Rollins match has that little, um, you know, momentum going with it. But I mean, it's pretty true. This doesn't do a lot for me. Who do you got winning this match? Seth. You have Seth Rollins. Are you wearing your Seth freaking Rollins T-shirt right now? I actually am. <laughs> He's Seth wearing freaking the- Rollins. Seth freaking Rollins shirt. Uh I'm going to say, uh, oh, this is kind of this a hard is the, one. This is their time to hype 2K18. They're going to give Seth the win, and then they're going to plug the game. Yeah, 100%. Just because you said that, I'm going to I'm gonna agree with that. Uh, 2K18, Seth Rollins gets the victory just because of that. I, mean, I, I was going to say why it was actually going to win this match uh, for a reason that I'm not even going to talk about now, uh, but Seth Rollins is going to win just because of the game. All right. <laughs> Roman Reigns. And then was, instead of Wyatt getting the win and getting the fall of the buzzards, they're going to they're gonna, Go right into Seth and be like, be like no one. <laughs> I like that. Uh, Roman Reigns versus Braun Strowman in an ambulance match. Uh, this has been building now for a couple months. And I'm actually fine with that. I like Roman and Braun. I think they've you know, been doing their thing. Uh, Braun was out with a shoulder injury. would come back a couple weeks later for, was it a month, month and a half? I don't remember how long it was. Uh, and now they're facing off in an ambulance match. Who do you have winning this one, Nottis? Who, who who takes it away? Who's getting thrown in that ambulance? Who's getting chucked away? And, or are they going to get thrown in the like, uh, Ryback? Um, is the ambulance roof going to just cave in? <laughs> well, we've seen that before, right? Yeah, we have. So. Uh, I don't know. I'd like to think it's Braun Strowman, but you know Vince McMahon is still in charge, so. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I don't know if that means Roman wins. You know, look strong. I haven't really like paid attention too much to the dirt sheets because I really just don't care uh, to look into this stuff that far. Uh, besides just watching the TV show and kind of guessing from there. But you know, they're saying the WrestleMania chain plans may have changed um, in a way. So if the if the plans have changed for WrestleMania and they switch it and they're rushing Roman now, or and they're saving Braun, or however they do it. I don't really know. I think the one thing you got to keep in mind is Cena said on SmackDown that is if his time's coming to an end, he's going to line him up and knock him all down. Uh, I I could definitely see a Roman versus John Cena match at WrestleMania instead of Brock uh, versus Roman Reigns. Uh, although I I'm pretty sure we're going to get Roman Reigns versus uh, Brock Lesnar. It's been building for a long time, and if you look at who they've beat, you know Brock beat Taker, Roman beat Taker, the two guys that beat the streak competing against each other. It, it's it's wrote itself yeah. as far as a main event of WrestleMania. Whether you hate Roman or not, and you just you just you can't stand the fact that they push him down your throat. 
it's a match that's been built now for years, so it's got to happen at some point. Uh, I'm gonna actually going to say that uh, Strowman well, gets... Whether you hate him or not, Roman's matches are good. Yeah, I and, and, and that's the truth. Um, I'm actually going to say Braun Strowman picks up the victory here because I think uh, Braun versus Brock Lesnar, basically we've learned that uh, uh, Brock Lesnar is going to fight three pay-per-views back-to-back-to-back. So we have Great Balls of Fire, SummerSlam, and then I think it's No Mercy, uh, the pay-per-view right afterwards after SummerSlam. They're also going to do, uh, according to the report. So if they do do that, uh, let me take a look. SummerSlam, uh, if they go that route, you're going to have to like line them up and knock them down. So some people have said that what's going to happen is you're obviously going to have the match, and then you're going to lose, so then you'd have a rematch after SummerSlam. But who would be the champion, I think, is the question. Um, they could very well yeah. go the angle of, and I don't want to jinx this here, but they could have Braun Strowman slay Brock Lesnar um, to have Roman beat Braun for the title, and then Brock is the challenger at WrestleMania and do it that way, where uh, Roman is defending at WrestleMania. I think that's the only swerve I could necessarily see happening. Uh, but for the most part, I really don't care. I'd be uh, down with that. Yeah, I don't care who wins either way because I think – the fact that we're already thinking ahead to WrestleMania and then it's going to be Brock versus Roman and like we're pretty much all set in it, I think that kind of hurts WWE a little bit. Uh, but either way, I want Braun to win. I'm going to say Braun picks up the victory here. Who do you got? Oh, I'm going Braun. Braun Strowman. All right. So Braun gets the victory. All right. No matter who wins, I mean, this has got to be a br- brutal match, right? I mean, from what we've seen leading up to it. Yeah, they're definitely – this has got the most hype for me. Out of all the matches – uh, it, okay, maybe not all the matches because we're going to talk about that in a second, but this is definitely like the co main event for me. All right, uh, then we have Alexa Bliss versus Sasha Banks. Alexa Bliss came in for Monday Night Raw, she became uh, the first champion of both shows, Raw and SmackDown. Uh, I just love Alexa Bliss, I, and we I get lo- to talk about that Bliss booty. <laughs> and I think the uh, just, just to be clear here, um, uh, if you don't follow her on Snapchat. I mean, you know who talks about Alexa Bliss's booty more than anybody? Nia Jax. If you follow Nia Jax on Snapchat, it's pretty much just Alexa Bliss's booty all the time. That Bliss booty. Well, can you blame her? No, I can't blame her. And like I said, I don't want to like, like cross any lines to make it sound like I'm, I'm, you know, just like talking up Alexa Bliss. But I mean, Nia. If Nia says it's true, it's got to be true. Uh, so the build into this is Nia wanted the shot. Uh, there was a you know a huge match opportunity, but Sasha would overcome it all. She finally gets her opportunity uh, to come back into the title picture. Um, but here's the thing. I I really liked Sasha Banks on Raw last year. I, I really like Sasha Banks as a wrestler. But I like Alexa Bliss a heck of a lot more. Does that make me a bad person, Nottis? Like, if you would ask me two I years ago, so. like I always would have said Sasha. When before. Bliss first got the title, I was kind of like, okay, but I, I've I've really grown to like it. Well, I, I've always liked Alexa Bliss, especially on SmackDown. I was a big fan of her, but like I was a big Sasha fan. Like out of Charlotte and Bailey, you know, if you remember, you know, last year, the last two years, oh, oh, I was yeah. a big Sasha fan over like Charlotte and even kind of over Bailey, and I think most people were. Well, but, we almost watched uh, Sasha die right in front of us at SummerSlam. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, if you look at it that way, I, the fact that it's evolved now to where I care about Alexa Bliss more, I think it just kind of goes to show with WWE, you're going to have these times now where you're not going to get, you're going to kind of these shorter runs, right? They're, they're kind of putting in a lot. Like, I think what, Charlotte's like a three-time champion, Alexa Bliss is a, a two-time champion. They're kind of like building these Hall of Fame careers quicker because I don't know if they know how long people are going to last. Um, but right. I'm going to, I'm going to say, I want Alexa bliss to retain. I'm going to be, uh, honest here. I think I see, uh, Alexa bliss versus, um, Nia Jax at SummerSlam. That's my prediction because Alexa kind of like got friended in with Nia Jax and kind of led it up to it. I'm going to say, uh, Alexa bliss retains here. What do you got? Not just, I don't know, but when you said Alexa, you just set my Alexa off. <laughs> <laughs> She's trying to find some contact for somebody right now. Oh my gosh, she got an Amazon. <laughs> Jeez, look I, at I, I know, right? It's like, uh, anyway, um, I could see this going either way, but I, I'm, I'm gonna say Alexa retains. Alexa retains. I could definitely see Sasha winning. Like, I could, I could see a lot of people winning here. Like the only people I don't see winning on this card are Enzo Amore and. Um, the Hardys, the, like the, either all the other matches, I could see them kind of going. The only way. way I see Enzo winning is with some help. Possibly, he, he better not be winning on his own. 
Possibly. Maybe a roll up pin. I'd take that. Um, all right. Last one, which actually. Yeah, on a pay per view. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Maybe they draw it out because it is kind of a big SummerSlam match if you think about it. Um, all right. So yeah. Brock Lesnar versus Samoa Joe. Obviously, this one had a, a pretty big build, monumental. Samoa Joe put uh, Paul Heyman in the Kokita clutch, knocked him out. Brock Lesnar came in. They had a scrap, they pulled him apart. Uh, and then Samoa Joe, two weeks before the show, actually put Brock Lesnar in the Coquita Clutch. Um, do you see Samoa Joe any snowball's chance in hell walking away as the WWE Universal Champion? Not his fan. Well, I'd say sure he's got a chance. I don't know if they'll actually do this, but yeah. All right, they I could I could possibly see them do this. So we talked about this a little bit earlier, but he's going to fight three pay per views back to back, which Brock hasn't you know defended in three months or whatever. So this is his first time, so it makes sense that they're kind of kind of rush this in a little bit. Uh, he's being advertised for all the pay per views except Survivor Series and TLC. So three pay per views back to back. I'm actually going to say that <sighs> tonight at the live show. Obviously, we know well, that. Well, I mean, okay, if he, if he does lose to Joe. You know, he had the back and forth with Goldberg. I mean, how mortal does he look, you know, if he's if he's dropping the title this often? I, I have to say, like, Samoa Joe, though. It's Samoa freaking Joe. You know what I mean? Like, I'd, I, I, love to see that. I'd love to see them, you know, give him the title and run for a while. I was kind of thinking, like, and I don't want to, like, you know, kind of throw this out because obviously somebody actually got injured from this. It was a freak accident, but... I was wondering, what if they did something? If Joe got Brock Lesnar up top like uh, he did Tyson Kidd, and what if he sold an injury? Like, I, oh yeah, because I I don't I don't see Brock losing clean. So if Brock were to lose, it would have to be something like a Coquita Clutch, where it would be he would like pass out. I, I would think it'd be something like Cena Cena versus Rusev, right? Where the only way yeah. Brock loses is Brock passes out and can't do anything about it. Like. I think they kind of go that MMA route because they went that way with Brock Lesnar versus Randy Orton where it was kind of like a scrap and he kind of TKO'd him. And then, you know, coming into their match, you know, Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. I think here Samoa Joe is is going to lose or if he wins, Brock Lesnar loses in a way that he has no control over it, like passes out and he can't continue. Well, that's, that's what they've been kind of building up here this whole time. That's yeah. That's how he's gotten to him so far. How long do you think the match is going to be? Do you think it's going to be a long one, uh, or do you think it's going to be a shorter one? Brock Lesnar just doing like fifteen suplexes. I don't want to see that, by the way. I do not want to see like fifteen. I don't know if it's going to be fifteen suplexes. I don't think it's going to be particularly long, though. No, I don't necessarily see it being a super long match. I think Joe is a favorite of Triple H, and I don't know if that has anything to do with it. Um, but I'm actually, I'm gonna just like I said, I'm going contrarian on all these. I'm going to say Samoa Joe wins. Uh, and the way he's going to do it is Brock Lesnar is going to be in the Kokita clutch, like where he's not responsive. And Paul Heyman throws in the towel for Brock Lesnar. So Brock isn't oh, the one that yeah. taps out. It's Paul Heyman in the corner. Like, who was it years ago? Was it Vicky Guerrero or somebody? Can't remember who it was that threw in the towel for her client? Or no, it was Rusev. It was Lana who threw it in for Rusev, right? I'm going to say Paul Heyman right. and Brock Lesnar right. are going to split. And like maybe he saw something in Joe or somebody else and he aligns with him. I'm going to say Paul Heyman throws in the towel for Brock Lesnar, causing Brock Lesnar to lose the championship. That's my prediction on this. What do you got? It's a pretty good angle. Um, I'd like to see Joe win. I think they they have Brock win here. Brock is going to win. How long does he carry the title? Is it all year or is he going to lose in the next two months? Two or three months. I think – Two months, three months. I, I think he's done then. I think he'll probably disappear for a while. Does he keep the title or does he drop it, though? Before he leaves? Yeah. Because, I mean, he's already done he three months it. here. All right, so you're going to say he drops it. But at the pay-per-view, you have Brock Lesnar. I think he probably drops it at SummerSlam or something like that. Right, and then, then his rematch at No Mercy. Or did you say he's already booked for the one after that? Yeah, so that's why people are thinking he'd lose at SummerSlam, get his rematch, and lose there. So yeah. uh, I'm going to say that I'm going to say Samoa Joe picks up the victory because Paul Heyman throws in the towel for Brock Lesnar. So um, that was now that, you mentioned Triple H and Samoa Joe being his his, his guy. So does Triple H show up here in Great Balls of Fire? <sighs> Possibly. Is he involved in this match somehow? Possibly, because I still think Samoa Joe has something to do with Triple H. 
Uh, and I, and I've touched on that before, but I, I don't want to get too much into that speculation. I'm going to hold on, but thank you for bringing that up. Cause I think we could definitely see something like that happening. Uh, cause I'll be honest, I would love to see triple H versus Samoa Joe at WrestleMania too. That would be a, a pretty good match or just triple H versus Samoa Joe. So, uh, any final thoughts on yeah. a great balls of fire? Not as anything you got as far as predictions go that any, any crazy prediction you have for the pay-per-view, anything that you see goes down that, oh, that, that blows your mind. I don't know if I got anything crazy, really. I just, uh, you know, I I haven't really been that excited for this pay per view. But now going over the card, I'm starting to feel a little bit more ready to go for this. Yeah, I'm starting to feel a little bit uh, a little bit more ready to go. So, uh, are you going to be putting? I'd matches? love to call a return here or something, but I, I just I, I don't know. I got nothing. You got nothing. All right. Uh, are you going to be putting up the uh, simulations at all on your channel, YouTube.com forward slash uh, Sports Gaming Universe? Are you going to be putting anything up? Any of the, the yeah, bi- I think I'm gonna I'm gonna for sure do the. Uh, Lesnar and Joe match. I'll probably put a couple up. All right. You guys can uh, go check them out there. And if you're watching on Not As Fans channel with the predictions, obviously you've already seen it. Uh, wow. 26 minutes. I think this is the longest I've talked about WWE in a long time. So if you've gotten to this point, uh, wow. Congratulations. Because I have not had uh, <laughs> this much intention to talk WWE in uh, so long. I'm actually using a fidget spinner right now, Not As. Do you have a fidget spinner? I do not. And it, well, I think my son may use one once in a while he doesn't have one here oh you gotta use a fidget spinner uh i think that's we're gonna wrap it up as great walls of fire is gonna be coming to you live this sunday uh where is it from by the way it's in uh dallas texas wow dallas texas and yeah. it's, sponsored, it's sponsored by rocket league i wanted to throw this out there really fast before we go i was kind of wondering everybody was saying that it's because vince laughed at the name uh but if you think rocket league balls do you think uh any wwe is like losing sponsors so like rocket league uh, you're going to sponsor a pay-per-view, and you get to pick the name. Could you imagine if sponsors get to start picking the name of pay-per-views? Like, think like that. That's like the the ultimate brand integration. Like, Mountain Dew sponsors a pay-per-view called Do the Do. Or so pretty soon we're going to have one called, like, Hot Cheetos or something? <laughs> the Gold Bond. The Gold Bond. Great Balls, <laughs> I mean, of, great balls of Fire sponsored by uh, Gold Bond's Men's Drying great, Power. Great Crotch of Fire. <laughs> I can see something like that. And then you got a giant sack of fire with Grimm's Toy Show. Uh, he's got that pay-per-view coming up this Sunday for $1.99. Yes. You guys can pick that up. By the way, go. go. It's a steal. Go buy Grimm's pay-per-view. Probably going to be a little bit more interesting than uh, Great Balls of Fire. But a good card on 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 paper. I'm excited for it. Uh, coming up this Sunday at 7 p.m. Uh, any last thoughts you have on the pay-per-view notice? Anything uh, you want to close up with? You I think that's it. log it into my WWE Network on Sunday? Hey, I, I don't know what you're talking about. WWE uh, Limited uh, Sharing Networks account last year. I have no idea what you mean about logging in your account. I, I'm, I'm not sure that. Unless one of the 3 million leaks that happened, because WWE's database got leaked, 3 million plus customers' info was exposed. Besides, uh, credit cards and uh, passwords weren't leaked, but our info went public. So I think that's where we're going to wrap it up. YouTube.com forward slash Tubby Emu. Wait, that's my second channel. I can't promote that one. Tubby Emu.com and then uh, YouTube.com forward slash Sports Gaming Universe. <laughs> Uh, until next time, uh, it's your boy, Nadis, you want to sign out? See you guys later. Thanks for listening all this time. Long time. If you actually listen to this point, uh, in the comment section below, type in Austin Aries. If I see Austin Aries and I know you listen this far, uh, you're a champ. Until next time, it's your boy, We will see you all later.